The film starts with the life introduction of Nico, a martial arts specialist. At first, we get to know about his family history, followed by a display of his martial arts skills. During a training scene, Nico dismantles his students one by one with great ease. He is able to take them down and overpower each one of his own, using his fast-paced action moves. The narrative voiceover reveals that Nico was recruited to the CIA when he was just 22. This led to a massive change in his life, something that totally impacted his career later on. In the series of montages that follow, we find a history of America and its politics. It leads to Nico's training and his journey into the CIA. We find a trained Nico heading on his way to the Vietnam border. When he lands, he notices an enemy being tied in the front. During the night, his colleagues start to torture the prisoner and get him to reveal things. Nico finds the exchange disturbing and confronts one of the guys. He makes sure to beat up his own team members to avoid taking harsh measures against the prisoner. He is able to save the prisoner from the torture but is labeled as a threat to their own group. He is forced to strand them in the place and leave the scene immediately. Nico vows to be through with unethical means and goes on his own way. Back in the States, Nico is happily married and attending the baptism of his child. We get to see his extended family happy and sound, apart from one of the aunts. He gets to know about one of her daughters and her recently acquired trouble. Nico promises her to help him with the trouble. Later on, Nico visits a club and inquires about his missing cousin. The guys at the club start making fun of Nico, which infuriates him. They don't give him any respect and ask him to leave the situation as soon as he can. Eventually, he resorts to violence and takes them down, one by one. He is able to dismantle each of the smart talkers and find his way up the stairs. Nico learns that his cousin is with her boyfriend, evading all her responsibilities and loved ones. He tries to put some sense into her while taking care of his boyfriend through some harsh measures. Nico puts the guy in bad shape and takes his cousin with him. Moreover, he also learns about a drug cartel lead, which he plans to pursue next. Nico visits another high-profile place during the night and verifies his lead. He is able to track down the bad guys and their plan to carry out a cartel operation. The next day, Nico, along with his backup team, performs a raid on the bad guys and busts out their wrongdoings. In the action that ensues, we find Nico on the top of a car while chasing off the criminals. He is able to neutralize the driver and get rid of his control. Eventually, the whole deal falls flat, and Nico emerges as the winner. In another scene, we find the bad guys discussing the latest deal gone wrong. They express their discontent with the partners and boil down the cause of the flat operation. One of the members gets a warning from the rest of the team to make sure this does not happen again. In the morning, Nico expresses his desire to pursue the case full throttle. He continues to track down the bad guys responsible for the drug trade and nail them down. He is able to find one of the hot shots and plans on tailing him carefully. In the next scene, we find Nico and his cousin inside a church. They meet up with the father, who informs the duo about his project to help the immigrants. The father leads him into the church basement and reveals the magnitude of the people that he is helping. Nico learns that there are many people who need help and that father is doing good work. Nico converses with the father and informs him about his troubled routine. This interaction reveals that the father has been an integral part of Nico's life. He informs Nico that he should be coming to church often as it helps him feel safe. When there is a ceremony in the church the next day, we see a shocking turn of events. As everyone is busy with their joyous celebration, the detective starts noticing something different. Nico senses a strange bag and asks his cousin and mother to stand down. Soon enough, the bag explodes, leaving nearly everyone wounded. The father, who shared a close connection with Nico, died in the explosion thereby making Nico more angry and adamant about vengeance. Nico storms into his subordinates and blames the attack as the repercussion of their carelessness. He informs them about his decision to pursue the case alone even if others back out due to fear. The detective makes it his purpose to track down the bad guys responsible for the chain of events. The detective continues his dangerous trail of investigation and roams every corner of the town. 
Soon enough, he lands in big trouble when a bunch of guys surround him with weapons. Nico is able to overpower each of them and get the best of the bad guys in hand-to-hand -hand combat. He uses his trained martial skills to get a hold of them and pin them down. The hard-boiled detective starts to dig deeper into his investigation. The continuous hunt for bad guys impacts his personal life and his relationship with his wife. Nico gets into an argument with his wife, but both of them sort it out later. The detective, Nico, assures her that he will take care of everything. At midnight, Nico awakens when his own unit turns on him. Nico's colleague starts to search his premises and take him to the station. Nico puts forward his investigation until now and assures them that he is close to catching the bad guys. Nico continues the investigation using his own rigid methods. The unit leaves him alone and without any backup opportunities. Nico vows to continue his hunt alone and bring the bad guys to justice. During one such encounter, the criminals try to eliminate Nico and surround him. They try to shoot up a dummy car, but Nico overpowers their corrupt plan. He is able to neutralize them one by one and take them into a store. He fights back the criminals and escapes the scene before the cops arrive. Nico ventures deeper into the trail and engages in dangerous activities. He makes use of one of the corrupt insiders and takes him to a gunpoint. With his help, he is able to track down the bad guys even further. The risk of the hunt goes to such an extent that Nico's cousin gets injured in one such follow-up. What follows is a high-speed car chase sequence where Nico fights with the bad guys. He is able to eliminate the criminals one by one and get the better of them. However, during one such instance, the criminals get close to Nico and trap him. They take him to a secret hideout and try to torture the honest detective. They present him with the condition that he leave their backs and get busy like his other colleagues. However, Nico remains adamant about his mission to bring out the truth. The bad guys surround him from all the corners and tie him to a chair. They remain adamant about their demands and make sure to trap him even further. At last, Nico makes use of his skills and kicks the first guy. He then lets himself loose and takes hold of their gun. This gives Nico the opportunity to eliminate the bad guys one by one. He is able to clear out the scene and get rid of the criminals. In the next scene, Nico gets out of the trapped room and marches in front of the hotel lobby. He meets with his injured cousin and the rest of the family. The entire family meets up and helps a tired Nico. As soon as Nico makes contact with them, he faints. The intelligence officers wrap up the situation and take control of the mess. The scene shifts to Nico's home, where a senator visits him and wishes for his speedy recovery. They also ask for Nico's complete testimony to file the paperwork and get help with their investigation. Nico agrees to give his side of the story and continue to help the law. We find Nico with his son, wife, and complete family in a safe environment at last. He is able to make sense of the situation and embrace everything with a smile. The film ends with Nico's speech regarding the necessity for some people to be above the law to get rid of some bad guys. The screen fades to black.